Paper Panther here with Purple Pube Techniques, and I have a new card to show you. This one is really girly. It says Believe, and it's really shimmery. I'm going to show you the shimmer. Can you see all the little specks that shimmer, shimmer, and shine? That and the embossing card are really what, and the smooch are really what make this card special. So I'm going to take a sheet of cardstock and cut it in half and fold it in half. So I have my regular A2 folder size card. I pull out my beautiful Texture Boutique machine and I have a Tim Holtz alterations embossing folder. This one's called Rays. And usually I've seen it for, used for boys. So I decided to use it for a girl and I think it turned out really, really cute on this card. I'm making sure that the bottom of my card is underneath the folder, not on top. And then I'm just lining it up. Then I just pump it through the purse. And voila! Okay, I'm pulling out my stays on. And these, the stamp set I'm using is Don Hauser's Thank You Set. And I'm using four of the stamps. So I'm going to start with the, the ball gown dress. Which is really, really, really pretty. And I'm using my stays on because it's really nice and sticky and it will press, I'm pushing on really hard and it'll push through the embossing part so it'll get ink everywhere it needs to. And I needed a good strong stamp because it's going to get, or ink because it's going to get a little bit wet and smeared. Okay, now pull out the Believe. I use the stays on again. And in the top of the ray, where the sun comes down, sun rays, See, there it goes. Push hard again so it sticks good. And now I'm just going to use a nice flourish. This one is by Rana Fair. Far, I don't know. From the Autumn Leaves Collection. It's really cute. I love little flourishes anyway. Of course, they're everywhere. They're really in style. So now the last ink stamping bit I'm going to do is the inside. I'm going to take the dreams really do come true and they shoe and line it up how I want it. And again use my stays on ink which I stained my acrylic blocks with. And this is jet black. Just line it up and there's my sentiment in the inside. Cool. Okay, next I'm going to take my Age Mahogany Distress Ink that I use all the time and I'm going to rub it across the top of the embossed part and see how it makes the rays just come alive. Now I'm going to take my smooch and I don't know what color that is because it's a purple color. I know that. And it comes it looks a little bit blue with the with the cardstock behind it. I'm going to have to go buy another one just so I know what color it is. The smooch was really fun to use. It's a pearlized accent ink and it was really easy to control and put exactly where I wanted it. I didn't want to do the whole front of the dress. I just wanted to do some touches of it to make it just shine and sparkle and give it a little bit more depth. And it just went on really, really well. And it spread far so I didn't have to use as much as I thought I would and I made 10 of these for a card club. Okay now I'm my Tattered Angels Viva Pink and I'm just tapping 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 on the bottom of my palm because they say not to shake it so if you're shaking it I don't know what the difference is except for they say that it'll clog your pump if you shake it instead you're supposed to tap it or just kind of gently swirl it. Gently swirl it seems to take too long so I tap it. And I really didn't want to do the whole light mist. I wanted it thick on there. So it just shimmered up the whole front of the card. Which is awesome. Okay, next I'm taking some blue yarn. And I'm going to make this cute little embellishment. So I've got a, it's a sturdy cardstock that I cut in a circle with one of my punches, the Martha Stewart punch I have, 
and I am taking the yarn and I'm folding the end kind of underneath and then I'm using my thumb and finger as I twist it to support it and to just kind of make a circular thing. And I've seen people put ink down first and try to swirl it around the ink. It gets really, really messy. It gets all over your fingers and it doesn't, the yarn doesn't lay right after that or the thread or whatever you decided to use. So I try to do as much as I can till I can't hold it anymore in my fingers and thumb spun and then put down a, the glob of glue and I'm using the Tombow one and then I press it right on top so, so it covers most of the glue right in the center as much as I can and then the bulk of the messy stuff is done and then I just add the glue and then finish up around the edges made it so much faster the other way was really messy Okay, and then I just snip the end off and glue it down. And now I'm taking tool. And I'm just going to cut a little, little chunk off. And I'm going to fold it once, twice, three times, and half, and half, and half, and half again. I'm going to use my paper piercer and turn out to stab my finger, because I did that. And put another one of those K and Company brads through that I used on the Valentine's Day purses on my YouTube channel and blog. And now I'm going to cut off the ends, cut off the folds of the tool and make it circular. But not perfect. I didn't want it perfect. So what you do, what I did was I twisted the ends so it didn't lay flat how I did how I cut it. So it was kind of mismatched on both sides. And now I'm using a glue dot to glue it down with. I love glue dots. They're so fast and easy. Okay, that's the card. So there's the, the card in whole. There's a close-up of the dress with the smooch. There's the embellishment with the tools. Isn't it pretty? There's the inside sentiment. And there it is finished again. And we're done. So have a great, great day.